ह्यूमन बींग्स ब्रीद ब्रीद ऑल द टाइम वेन अवेक एंड वेन अस्लीप वेन वी रन जम और डू सम स्ट्रेनुअस एक्टिविटी वी ब्रीद इवन हार्डर और फास्टर other animals like a dog a horse or a buffalo also breathe but why do we breathe and what is it that we are breathing let's find out when we breathe in a nose takes air chest expands and the abdomen goes in when we breathe out the abdomen comes out the chest collapses and the nose pushes out the air air goes in and air goes out what was happening inside our body then oxygen is needed to break down this food and extract energy from it and this energy we use be it breathing eating talking or walking the carbon dioxide produced in the process is what we breathe out the air around us consists of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and dust particles we breathe in this air the germs are trapped in the hair and the mucus present in the nose where does this air go air then goes down the trachea or the windpipe the trachea branches out into two branches known as bronchi which enters the lungs inside the bronchi branches out into smaller and smaller tubes known as bronchioles in the end in tiny air sacs called alveoli there are about 300 million that is 30 crore alveoli in the two lungs the alveoli are surrounded by blood vessels both arteries and veins the veins bring blood rich in carbon dioxide and arteries carry back the blood rich in oxygen this exchange of gases oxygen from the air and the carbon dioxide from the blood happens at the alveoli the carbon dioxide rich air now goes back out of the nose this breathing in and breathing out happens continuously all the time sometimes faster when we are active and sometimes slower when we are resting How many times do you breathe in a minute? When this stop clock starts, begin counting. Does everyone breathe this many times? Observe your breathing rate when you are doing different activities animals like dogs cats lizards toads monkeys tigers they breathe just like us we know that all organisms respire but they have different ways of doing it plants breathe through tiny pores called stomata stomata are found all over the plants the leaves the branches the roots the oxygen taken in diffuses in the neighborhood of stomata what do the plants which live partially or completely submerged in water do insects have different breathing system along the body of the insect you'll find 10 pairs of openings two on the thorax eight on the abdomen 
These openings, known as spiracles, are the insect's breathing tubes. These tubes, known as tracheal tubes, are distributed throughout the body of the insect, reaching all the tissues. That is why a headless insect can continue to live. It will die of starvation. Fish have a different kind of respiratory system. Fish live underwater. In fact, they can hardly survive outside water. They use the air dissolved in water. Notice that fish gulp all the time. This water continuously washes over the gills. The gills contain a leaf-like structure called gill lamella, which takes up the oxygen dissolved in water. Do all organisms need oxygen to extract energy from their food? Some bacteria resort to anaerobic respiration. They can extract energy without using oxygen. Let's look at respiration once again. Plants and animals obtain energy from their food. For doing this, they need oxygen and they obtain oxygen through respiration. Like us human beings, all mammals, birds and reptiles have a respiratory system which consists of nose, trachea and lungs. Rate of breathing depends on the activity we do. More strenuous the activity, the more rapidly we breathe. We breathe less frequently while asleep. Plants, fish and insects also respire. But they have different mechanisms for doing this. Microorganisms absorb oxygen directly from the air or water. Some bacteria are anaerobic. They do not use oxygen to produce energy.